Check it out, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be using some unconventional Rainmaker strategies. And I just want to click on the boom box here because I haven't actually looked at it yet. So, uh, we got some Cosmic Duo action going on. And uh, the Rainmaker now on sale at the Trader. Uh, you must have Armory level 14 or above to gain access to this powerful Proto Troop for 24 hours. You can purchase up to 5 days of access. So, we have to purchase a couple more of these guys. Uh, oh, oh, we can get... Whoa, what was that? One, two million gold for one million stone. Yeah, you're, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna sign up for that one right away, guys. So I'm gonna save the rest of the two million to, um, to save for these Rainmakers. So what we're gonna be trying today, guys, is just some, uh, like we said, some unconventional strategies using the Rainmaker. So here's a loadout that we have, pretty typical, Rifle Cryozoochometic. And this is something that we would, uh, that we would use more with, um, the critter cannons, but let's try it out with the rainmakers and see how it does. I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. So, um, we're also going to go with Everspark and our critters for this one just because I think it's going to make uh, the attacks a little bit better. So, yeah, I wanted to go with Everspark. Uh, oh my god, we got a grappler, we got a doom cannon, we got a microwave, but check this out, guys. They are all within one shock of each other, so that is uh, that is poor planning on Pepe El, uh, El, El Butre's. Um, Part, but that's fine. We'll take that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll, sh we'll get another one going here. Um, now we still have these uh, these super cheap critters for uh, the next little while. So let's go ahead and use those. Now you see, I'm going to throw the mortar tanks out first because they're not, they're I, I just want to get them firing faster. And that's basically that's that's basically it. I just want them on the beach. I want them shooting stuff. Um, now the thing with bringing Everspark and these critters is. They're going to get melted by the mortar cannons if we're not paying attention. So uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and start to shock this stuff right here. And then we can throw a couple critters right in there. Now, you see, since I don't have the rifleman up front absorbing the hits, it does get a little dangerous here with the with the Zookas all completely exposed. But we're going to try to make up for that just with using critters. That is why we brought Everspark for this. And you see the mortar tanks? I don't know if they're actually helping us or hurting us. Because they, they seem to just be kind of uh, destroying the critters. But that's what we're doing today, guys. We're testing out some weird stuff. We're seeing how it goes. Uh, let's go with some critters right back in here. Now, we do have to make sure that we take this grappler down pretty quickly. So we'll go like that and like this. And the mortar tank should lock onto it here in just a second. We do we do still have the Zookas up and running. Um, so they're going to be able to take out most of the, uh, most of the defenses here. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I like just two mortar tanks, or critter, whatever the hell you call them, uh, Rainmakers in the back there. Like, if you're going to use Rainmakers, I think the idea is to use a lot of them and get a lot of that damage and a lot of that range. So next up, let's try them with a more, uh, sort of, I mean, this, this did work, but the guy didn't have any ice statues, like the, or he did have some ice statues, and they were in the trees, Jack. So that means they're plus 200% powerful if they're hidden in the trees. So, um, I mean, it did not work. So, I don't know if that was a great strategy, but we came out successful. So, next up, let's try uh, let's try using everyone's favorite, the uh, the Warrior Rainmaker strategy, guys. This one is uh, this one is interesting, to, to say the very least. So, let's get some Warriors going. Um, and I think I'm going to go with six Warriors and two Rainmakers. That's probably going to be the optimal way to do this. And let's go with, uh, let's go with Bullet and Taunt. Just because it's going to be hard enough as it is to uh, to use Rainmakers and Warriors. But, uh, okay, so, you're going to be asking me, Chicken, how in the hell are you going to get Warriors and Rainmakers on the HQ at the same time? you got to watch this, guys. you got to watch. So, uh, first off, we got to clear our path to the HQ. We're going to do it like this. Uh, let's go like that, and then let's go like this. 2 GB, hopefully clear with both those shotguns. Okay, we only got one, but that's fine. Um, okay, so next up. Now, first we want to throw a bullet. And I'm going to get everybody collected up right on top of this. So we're going to 1, 2, 3. Okay, so the Rainmakers are actually... Okay, so we'll go back like this. And then we're going to launch them right onto the HQ. So watch this, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think that's where they're going to stand. So uh, we got the Rainmakers. They are in tow. They're going to stop very soon. We'll get a taunt going off here with bullet. We'll get a shot going here and here. And look at this. The warriors come up, guys. The raymakers are pummeling in from below. 
They're taking out all of the warriors with those critter bombs. Or with the, uh, with the mortar shell shots. Come on, warriors, take it down for us. We got Bullets Taunt, holding them off. Ah, okay, so, warriors with Rainmakers, wouldn't recommend it. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, you see, we'll actually watch the replay there. I think we would have had it. I mean, I think we would have had it with six bolts of warriors alone, but, um, I think the Rainmakers actually took out, like, a pretty good amount of them. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, Smoky Warrior Rainmaker, I think that's pushing it for, uh, for if it's actually possible. So we got them all loaded up, and then we go like this. Uh, let's actually fast forward a little bit more. Okay, so then we go like this, and we got all the warriors up still right now. And then the Rainmakers come in. They get all their shots off. They go down almost instantly. But let's just follow these mortar shells here. They go right onto the HQ, and yeah, they just completely poofed all the warriors, guys. So uh, be careful when using Rainmakers with warriors. Um, Maybe go for, uh, why is Team Ed Bullet blanked out? That's so strange. Um, okay, so, we'll try, uh, we'll try an all Zuka Rainmaker attack here, guys. This is gonna be even better, I think. So, we'll go all Zuka, and we'll go Rainmaker, and let's see what we can get done here. So, we'll go on the same guy's base. I think we can do this. Uh, so we'll go like this, and like this, this time. And how we're gonna do this chicken is... We're going to get all the Zookas up in the HQ. We're going to have to do the back smokes again. But since uh, we're going to have to, we're, we're going to kind of have to hope and pray on this one, guys. This is going to be very interesting. So, uh, okay. So we're going to go like this. We're going to get all the Zookas and the Rainmakers out. Then we'll go like that. I'm going to flare them up right about here. Hopefully the uh, the Rainmaker will stay intact. Uh, and then we're going to flare up everybody. Okay, easy. Don't step on those mines, please. Okay, we'll go like this. And then we'll go one, two, three. And, okay, so Rainmaker there. Now, I'm going to have to flare back, and hopefully the Zookas don't spread too, too horribly. We are going to lose the delay on some stuff, but I think we're going to be okay here, guys. I think we're going to be okay. So we're going to go like this, and I was a little late on those critters. We got the Rainmaker following in from behind, and, uh, hmm, okay, so maybe uh, we were a little bit late. I think, the, I think the flaring is what screwed us up there. I don't think it's a very good strategy is what screwed us up there. So, Rainmakers and Zooka Rushes probably don't go together the best. Let's finish this off with an actual uh, strategy, guys. So, we could go something like this. We could go uh, four tanks, a couple Grens, and a couple Rainmakers. Actually, what's going to be better is just going uh, Grens and Rainmakers. So, we'll go three, three, two, uh, Gren, Rainmaker, and Medics. And that's going to be a pretty good uh, strategy for sure because thing about the Rainmakers, obviously it was just proven, but we can't use them. We can't use them, um, we can't use them, uh, in smoking strategies, obviously, because they, uh, they kind of stay back a little bit too far. So, let's see if we can get done doing it this way, guys. So we'll get the Rainmakers going out, we'll get the Grens going out like this. Uh, now, let's work on these Shock Blasters here first. I want to get those down and out of the way very, very quickly. Uh, okay, so we're going to need another artillery there, one right there. And just like that. So all the mechs are following bullets. So let's get a regen going there. So he gets nice and healthy. Uh, okay, so we're looking all right. We're looking all right. So you see the Grens actually stay back with the Rainmakers, which is uh, very key. Um, so for this strategy here, we don't want to use too many critters because there's so much splash damage everywhere that uh, it's, it's not really going to be that beneficial. They're kind of just going to walk out and die. I'm going to go ahead and smoke bullet there in hopes that... Um, in hopes that those medics can get him a little bit more health, but I don't think that is going to happen, guys. So we'll go like this, and let's flare over on this side, I think. Okay, let's take out this boom cannon really quickly. Don't fire, please. Okay, that's going to be fine. Uh, we're going to smoke the medics again, and now we're going up like this. So I'm going to go ahead and use the critters here just in case that cannon decides to fire on some of the grenadiers. Uh, we'll distract them up a little bit before they get completely rinsed by all the splash damage stuff shooting at them. Um, but yeah. Using the Grens in the mix with Rainmakers is, it, it's, it's a good way to do it because you're losing a little bit, um, okay, let's go ahead and shock right there. Um, you're, lo you're, you're kind of using the same style of strategy, but you are, uh, like, it's, it's just because the, the Grens shoot at the same distance as the Rainmakers, right? So, uh, they're easier to keep all together and it's not as crazy as, as, um, as some, some of you guys suggested with the, uh, with the warrior smoking um, attacks that kind of wasn't the best, um, kind of didn't go the best as we thought. So, 
We got Rainmakers coming in. We got Grenz up on the core. We do need to make sure that we take out that Boom Cannon in the back. He's going to come into range very, very soon. So we'll go like this, and I wanted to get a barrage on it because there's a couple uh, economy buildings behind that Boom Cannon that we might be able to get with it as well. Boom, there we go. Um, all right, so now all we have to worry about is just these medics keeping everybody alive. And we'll take down this rocket launcher right here with those critters, hopefully. I don't think there's anything else in range. Um, we'll throw some more critters. We'll throw some more critters because why not? And I think we're finally going to get Ozman down here, guys. And, uh, yeah, so a couple goofy strategies and a couple uh, decent ones. I think the... Um, I think the Rev Krazuka Medic, I don't think it benefits that well from Rainmakers. I think it benefits a lot more from Critter Cans. But guys, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments all your um, unconventional Rainmaker strategies. Definitely want to see those. And uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Uh, chicken. Damn it.